I'll let you go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Okay, nine pitching gun range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. As you can see, Falcon 9 has had a successful liftoff from Pad 39A. Moments ago, we throttled the engines down and we'll throttle back up just in a second for preparation for Max-Q. Max-Q stands for Maximum Aerodynamic Pressure, which are the highest stresses that the vehicle will see during ascent. Maximum Aerodynamic Pressure. Now coming up in about a minute, we will have three events happening back to back. First is main engine cutoff, or MECO. This is where all nine M1D engines will shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the second event, which is stage separation. This is where the second stage will separate from the first stage, with stage one making its way back down to Earth for landing, and stage two kicking off that third event that I mentioned, which is SES-1, or the second engine, engine start one. This is where the MVAC engine will light up and propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. <laughs> Expecting Miko to occur in about 30 seconds. Confirm. Successful Miko. <laughs> Successful stage step. And it appears we have reignited or ignited that second stage Thank engine for SES 1. Now we're just a few seconds from fairing deploy. Again, this fairing has flown before on a previous mission. Grid fans are opening up. Fairing separation confirmed. And we have fairing separation. We have successfully reused this fairing. Now those halves are making their way back down to the sea where hopefully we can scoop them up. So on the left side of your screen, you have stage one, which is making its way down to the drone ship. And on the right, you have stage two, that MVAC engine burning with 250,000 pounds of thrust. The grid fins appear to be fully deployed at this point. Now, while stage two continues on with the primary mission, stage one's got its own plans. It's going to execute two burns prior to landing. The first is the entry burn. That's where we will reignite three of the M1D engines which will help slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. Shortly thereafter, we'll have a second burn, which we call the landing burn. 
This is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle's velocity down rapidly in order to land safely on the drone ship. At the same time, during that burn, you'll see the landing legs will, that are currently folded up along the side of the rocket are going to deploy. MVAC is looking good right now. It looks a little overexposed on that image there, but we can still see the plume coming out, and we're still hearing good data. So while we're two minutes away Stage from entry burn, just a note on these Starlink satellites, these 60 will be joining the constellation that's already on orbit. As we mentioned, we've launched more than 360 satellites. And again, these are to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people down on that globe that you see on the right side of your screen. The MVAC engine on stage two is at full power and on a nominal trajectory. Now as stage one is making its way down, again, there are no engines burning while it's doing this. It's basically coasting using the grid fins to steer and you can see those white puffs occasionally. That's cold nitrogen gas that is being used for attitude control, part of our ACS system or attitude control system. That entry burn should be coming up here in about 15 seconds. Meanwhile, stage two continues on as planned. Stage one, entry burn, start up. Stage one, FTS is safe. This burn goes for about 20 seconds. Four engines burning at once right H2 now. H2 continues to follow a nominal trajectory. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. All right, successful shutdown of that entry burn. Meanwhile, stage two is looking great. All right, full screen shine here. There we go. Now this burn on stage two is gonna continue up until you hear the call out of Seco one, or second engine cutoff one. You're gonna hear that pretty quickly after landing. Stage one, entry transonic. All right, MVAC-D is beginning to throttle down, getting ready for that second engine cutoff. Stage one, landing burn startup. Entering terminal guidance. All right, that landing burn has started. Let's see if we can see the plume in the view from the drone ship. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage two, FTS is safe. There it is. Let's see. We have cheers. We have a rocket. <laughs> awesome. This is the fourth landing for this booster. <laughs> and as you can hear, everybody here is super stoked to, you, to see it there. It's great. It's a gorgeous day. Gorgeous racket. <laughs> All right. 
and we have second engine cutoff on stage two. And we are in a good orbit as well. Nominal orbital insertion. All right, so now stage two is going to coast in this orbit for a few minutes. And during this time, the stage will actually start to Hello, spin SK around its expected. central axis, which gives the Starlink satellites the momentum that they need in order to space themselves out over time after they deploy. We're going to take a quick break and come back here at T plus 14 minutes. Hello, 